Hi Leo, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Um, let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Leo with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Leo, we're gonna go from past, present, future. All right, so in the past, where was Leo in the past? Okay, um, pathway, a new pathway, something new opening up for you. This could be in work. This could be learning something new, a new trade or a school or just on some journey that was going to take you a while, maybe one to two years and maybe even longer. Or you were in a relationship or you are in a relationship that maybe you've been in for one to two years. Um, you're, you're hoping to journey into something else or do something else or you've been on a journey for this long. You're hoping to reach the final destination here, um, transition, maybe even move. What is... Um, the um, present energy for Leo, present energy for Leo. Yeah, journey, you just talked about that. So um, this is accomplishment. This is being accomplished, making money, um, having a happy home life, um, maybe a long lasting marriage or connection, taking a trip, um, being able to afford a, a certain lifestyle also with a journey. Um, maybe this is why you made the transition or you took this path, this new pathway so that you could move or make a move or buy a house or something. You want to do something major here, long-term goal achievement. What is Leo energy, Leo's energy in the near future? Okay, bad health. Um, okay, so I don't know if something reverses for you or... It starts to go down or dwindle, dissipate. Give us one more card for the near future energy. Near future energy. Why bad health? Marriage. Okay. So maybe what you're married to or who you're married to. Um, there's no stability in your marriage, in your long-term commitment. Um, you feel like it's just, you know... This could even be withholding sex or somebody not having sex with you or you not having sex with them or this could just be all things, you know, going down, the health of the relationship declining. Uh, what is pathway in the past? What is pathway in the past? Let's clarify pathway. So anniversary in the reversal. So you didn't get there yet. You haven't gotten to you know, fulfillment, long-term goal fulfillment. Um, you don't feel like there is an anniversary anniversary to celebrate because there's been no achievement or progression in a relationship, in a connection, maybe in, you know, status. What is journey here? What is journey? Um, so you got God in reverse. Maybe you're trying to do things without God or you're not trying to put God first or... Um, some of you could be materialistic or um, spirituality is at the back burner. You're not really, um, not really um, spiritual in some sense. Um, why is God in reverse? Why is God in reverse? Love and love came out twice. Wow, God is love. Mixed minds. So you need to come out of you know, mixed minds about what love is. Some of you want love, but you have no God quality or God complex within your heart. And we know that God is love. So if you want love, you need to find God first. So somebody is just trying to maybe align themselves with someone or something that seems like love, but it ain't love. Somebody has no self-love. They have no peace in their mind or intellect. Somebody is, um, mm. let's see, in the near future, we have bad health and we have marriage. So the health of a marriage could be declining. Um, let's clarify. Yeah, I feel safe with you. Somebody's staying because they feel safe. But somebody's put parameters, boundaries on this. Text me, don't call me. And look what came out in reverse, love. So somebody is wanting love, the other person don't want love, or they don't know what love is. Or it's something about not having a God complex, or um, there's no spirituality. 
there's no balance with them. They're all material. Um, in love with two people came out in reverse, so that's good. So somebody is not of two minds about anything. Somebody is real strong and firm in how they feel. Someone doesn't feel like they're missing out on anything or missing you or missing, um, nothing is missing. And they're not waiting, okay? Somebody is not waiting for, maybe waiting for someone to soften up, change or become, you know, aware, awakened, warm. Somebody is just closed off to love. Okay, Leo, and you want love, 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 love. And this person is like, love is money. You know, love is time. Love is everything but God. But we know that God is love. All right, let's see. Yeah, loud mouth. Somebody could be loud about, you know, what they want. Um, voicing their opinion. Rude coming in reverse. So they're not rude about it, but they're definitely voicing their opinion. This relationship has been going on for years. Somebody wants to retire it, but they have not. What else do you want to tell Leo? Somebody's not dating. You guys aren't dating each other anymore. I am miserable in this house comes out in reverse. Somebody's not even miserable, but they're stuck. I don't know. This is crazy. Somebody's choosing to stay in a relationship that is just it just is what it is it's not going anywhere there's no love or I'm not open to love but I'm not going anywhere you know somebody is a real bitch in the house yeah. Christmas every day is like Christmas or a gift or gifts being given somebody's birthday could be on Christmas hiding several secret affairs from you maybe this is why somebody is choosing to stay in the relationship if it sounds like a lie, it's probably a lie. Um, somebody is completely immature. Somebody breaks promises or they make them and they just don't follow through. Yeah, somebody's having sex with who they call a friend. All right, so somebody is choosing to stay in this toxic relationship because they found fulfillment elsewhere. You know, that's what I say about third parties. Um, a third party only keeps a miserable relationship together. You know, it doesn't cause the person to go the other way. Um, you're making it tolerable for them to go home to their mate, to their spouse who they don't love or they don't like or they don't want to have sex with or they just don't have anything there outside of, you know, maybe financial. Um, because they've already got you know, the sex and the fun and the love somewhere else. So this just reads as if somebody's staying in a connection um, because they found, you know, a sneaky link or whatever somewhere else. Somebody could be staying in the connection for um, stability also. This is what I have for you, Leo. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Use the code 40OFF at the website level so you can receive 40% off your reading. Thank you, Leo. Many blessings to you. Take care.